This is Mike Scott, the film critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans. And if you go see just one movie this weekend, this is the one. This is a bit of a tricky one this week. Because what you probably want to see, and what you by all means should see, since it's an absolute kick in the tights, is Hollywood's newest superhero flick, Iron Man. With its big budget and its big action, it's the official kickoff to the summer movie season, and it's also got a superb cast, headed by former Hollywood bad boy Robert Downey Jr., of all people, in the hero role. He's nothing short of fantastic here, and he gets an assist from the likes of Jeff Bridges, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Terrence Howard. Essentially, what director John Favreau has assembled here is a comic book film that is as fun and as bright as it is smart, unlike the flood of dark, brooding superhero movies that have been hitting the big screen ever since Tim Burton's Batman in 1989. But since you're probably already going to go check out Iron Man this weekend anyway, you and millions of other moviegoers, I'm going to go ahead and recommend something a little more off the beaten path. Young at Heart, easily one of the most entertaining and touching films released so far this year. Describing Young at Heart in specific terms is something of a minefield, because it sounds like box office poison. But bear with me here. Yes, it's a documentary, and yes, it's about old people, but I've got a feeling you're going to absolutely love this film. This is no depressing visit to the old folks' home. The old people here, average age 83, are members of a senior choir, one that specializes in reimagining contemporary rock tunes, Everything from Bruce Springsteen and Coldplay to Sonic Youth and the Talking Heads. The film starts with the group preparing for an upcoming gig with five new songs to master. And what it ends up being is a film that is every bit as funny as it is poignant, as sweet as it is sad. Young and Heart doesn't have any explosions or flying metal men, but it's got plenty of heart. And it's a film that carries a definite emotional punch. And this week, with a nod to Robert Downey Jr. in Iron Man, it's also the one.